Well, tennis world number one Novak Djokovic has had no problems booking his place in the third round at Wimbledon. He claimed a straight sets victory over the American Bobby Reynolds a short time ago. Christina McFarland is there. She's uh, at the All England Club where one slippery issue continues to plague the organisers. Following an unprecedented Wednesday which saw seven players withdraw from the competition with some of them blaming the slippery grass as the reason for their injuries, Wimbledon felt moved to make a statement in response to these criticisms. They said that the factual evidence which is independently checked is that the courts are almost identical to last year. Day four, however, saw no such slip-ups, even though at times players were required to play through light rain. And unlike their counterparts, Serena Williams and Novak Djokovic, the top seeds sailed through their second rounds here in straight sets. Up next, Serena Williams will face Japan's Kim Lako Date Krum, who at the age of 42 is the oldest woman in the open era to reach the third round. The draw is, of course, now wide open for Novak Djokovic, who continues on a potential collision course with home favourite Andy Murray after he defeated Bobby Reynolds in three sets, 7-6, 6-3, 6-1. This is Christina McFarlane for CNN, Wimbledon. All right, well, let's uh, bring in Jeffrey Webb at this point. He's the chief executive of the Institute of Groundsmanship and an expert in turf, a man who knows his sods, I guess, is uh, the way I should be introducing you. Talk to me about uh, this surface. Firstly, um, are players whinging? Is it any different, this uh, lawn surface, to anything they've played on before? No, the short answer is absolutely not. It's no, right. uh, no different than it has been for at least the last four years. Um, that's bared out by independent testing that's, that's carried out during the, the tournament itself and throughout the years. We've, we've got a bunch of uh, grass here. You've just pointed yes. out that it wouldn't be like that at Wimbledon because it is absolutely full of weed. Just point those out for us. What wouldn't well, we see? There you, you wouldn't see some of this. this yeah. uh, let's break that one away now. You wouldn't see yeah. that for a start. This yeah. would all be cleaned out and th there, there would be science and technology machinery and expert groundsmanship that would ensure that none of that would exist at Wimbledon. One assumes the weather affects the grass. This is, after all, quite a unique surface, isn't it, uh, um, as far as the Opens are concerned around the world. But it's one we like in Britain. I think in Britain we, we have a natural affinity to our lawns, and, and we do with our sporting <laughs> events as well. So, um, well, grass is a living, breathing object, so you have to mm. nurture it like you would your own child, really. And um, that's where the skill of the groundsman really comes in, and especially at, at uh, the All England Club and su such like. Get me, get me right on this. I was, I've always thought grass was a slower surface. It was about serve and volley. It's a slower surface. Faster. I, it's fa How can faster. grass be faster than clay? Okay, well, what you've got here, if you, if you look at the length of the grass here, it's um, quite a high po uh, height of grass, if you actually look at that. Yeah. Um, at Wimbledon, you, you would see about eight millimetres, so if I can right. break that one away for you. I mean, that's actually reasonably short, but it, but it would be right. shorter than that. So it's a bit like if you see uh, a bowling green or, or an, a, a mm. putting green at, at golf. So all these different sports surfaces are, are uh, they're optimised for the sports that, that you're playing, and, and certainly that's the case with Wimbledon. The All England Club, sir, has defended the court conditions. It's released a statement uh, just recently saying, and I quote, the court preparation has been to exactly the same meticulous standards as in previous years. The factual evidence, which is independently checked, is that the courts are almost identical to last year. So, is it the weather? Are they whinging? Will they come back next year? Is grass out of fashion and favour, do you think, at this point? I, I absolutely think not. I think the, the reaction, I've been at the All England Club today and I've spoken to the grounds mm. team there this morning. Mm. And uh, the, the first thing is to reiterate, it, it is exactly the same mm. surface and they go through a meticulous Are they cross about this? About this whinging then? Um, I haven't seen anybody who's crossed, uh, no. to be quite honest with you. I think they've got too much to do just making sure that the courts are ready for tomorrow and the next day and the next mm. day after that. So, um, obviously, great players make great tournaments and uh, whenever great players fall out of a tournament earlier, then, you know, people regret that and like to see them go through. Now, but I don't think it's the court. You I think tell me, fake. is there a conspiracy theory here? He won the Olympic gold. Two of his biggest competitors are out. Whether Andy Murray actually likes grass or not, he's a great clay court player, of course, as well. Surely, if this is as it was last year, and there is nothing wrong with this surface, as it were, at Wimbledon, he must stand a better chance this year, doesn't he? Is this a, is this Andy Murray is a great player. I'm going to support Andy Murray. He's been playing with the Murray. grass. 
There's still some very good players left in that tournament, so I wouldn't tempt fate because we all want Andy Murray to, to win if, if we're batting for this country. Um, but he's got some great, great opponents, as we know, like Djokovic and others still out there. So he'll take one game at his times, and that's what the groundsmen do in preparing courts too. If we're batting for this great British Isles, as we know them, because he hates it if you speak with an English accent and he... Uh, <laughs> and, and we are suggesting that he's English because he's not, of course, he's Scottish. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. I think I understand more now than I did before, and I certainly will be looking out for these... Weeds. Get rid of them.